Don't get me wrong. I mean, I want you to understand from the beginning that I'm not really so dumb. I know that a girl should do and what she shouldn't do. I get around. I read. I listen to music, and I have two older sisters. So you see, I know what the score is. I know it's right to wait with this girl in such a whisper, with a safe pulls up the pearl in ankle shock, and shut the shoe that look as if they seen the world. And I know that your hair should be long, or more to your shoulders, and slick as the red seal, just a little love on the ends. And you should wear cameras hat, or a ring, or else a peach and handkerchief if you have just shot a face. Probably, a piece and handkerchief should make you think of Eddie Vis, Miss and Shirley Martins, Yodeling and Sweet Cheese. You know, that's kind of vision. And I know that anyone who orders a strawberry shelter in a store instead of a lemon cake would probably be dumb. This is not what I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to give you the general idea of how I'm not so dumb. It's important that you understand that. Yushi, it was funny how I met him. It was an autumn afternoon like any other autumn afternoon, and I didn't have my English done either. But the gray clouds flying in the blue sky, I couldn't stay inside. The walking street isn't far from our house. You can make it in five minutes if it is not pouring rain. So I went cycling around the street one. It was all so lovely. I read most of the way and flock of peaches flying in the sky. I always wear our shoe when I cycle. And then he came. The dream part of many girls, he is celebrity at school, and is the best student of class 20D TA01. He says very casually, "My ears, I go with you." And then he rode parallel to me. He ran outside to block the car for me. Just soon there were two it, just that, and then we cycled together. It wasn't that I never rode with a boy before. Don't be silly. I told you before. I got a rail, but this was different. He was a smoothie. I can't remember what he talked about at first. I can't even remember if we talked at all. We just laughed every time we suddenly looked into each other's eyes, and really soon we were laughing at on time, nothing at all. It was all so lovely. Then we decided to walking instead of cycling. It's getting hotter and hotter, even though I'm wearing shorts. The sunset is falling, but I can't still see the light. Probably because of his sunny smile. My heart was Michelin, and his face is for me. I heard my prayers. The warm world seemed to be frozen. Then he sat up straight and said, "We better stay home now. So I take you home, or do you live far away? But we would better stay home. See, that's how I know he wanted to take me home, not because he had to be cold. He wanted to. Then he held out his hand for me to take, so that sky turned pale pink under the afternoon sunset. He said. Sleep well. I will call you again. I stand then, and in a moment he was gone. I watched him as he went down the street. He was whistling softly, and I waited until the sun faded away, so I couldn't tell if it were his or my house whistling out there in the night. And then he was gone, completely gone. But he said, "I will call you." That's what he said. I will call you. I couldn't sleep at night. And that was Thursday. Tonight is Tuesday. This afternoon is Tuesday, and my heart was done. 
and I did some stretching that I didn't really need, and I work on a crossword puzzle, and I listen to music, draw a picture of him, and now I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting because I can't think of anything else to do. I can't think of anything, anything but buys, shoes, lists, and just the afternoon. The telephone is sitting on the corner table with its old black frame turned to the ground, so I can't see it clearly. I don't even chum its wings anymore. My heart still breaks, but my mind just laughs. Outside the night is still, so still. I think I will go crazy, and so I'm just sitting here, and I'm not feeling anything. I'm not even sad because all of a sudden I know, all of a sudden I know, I can't sit here now forever and laugh and laugh and laugh, while the tea runs slowly in the corner of my mouth. For all of a sudden I know, I know what the star knew all this time. He will never come, never.